follow us on to a taxi. It'll probably take us where we want to go. Yeah. bonus for us and maybe you about St. Thomas is it is a U.S. territory and what that means is your cell phone will work just like if you were in the U.S. So if you need to call home, if you need to send an email, if you need to send a text, If you need to listen to an airplane landing, you can do it here. We are just following the signs for taxis to get out of the duty-free area. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> hoping, hoping that that will work. We're not looking to take a taxi just yet. We're trying to avoid that. We are looking to go to a local brewery. Husband, what brewery is it? Let me check. Let's check. All right, we're gonna try to figure out. Gonna try to figure out how to get out of here while husband finds the brewery that we're gonna go to. Yeah, it looks like we can go that way. Okay, so we're going to the Leatherback Brewing Company. Yes. And you know how to get there? Walking downtown. Walking downtown. All right, here we go. It's about a mile and a half. About a mile and a half from the ship. Hopefully that is it is either the accurate or sh slightly shorter. Or a lot shorter. That'd be a like, nice little bonus. That way? Yeah, let's take the walkway to town. All right. Unlike in the US, they will drive on the quote unquote wrong side of the street. That is because the U.S. did not always own this island as a territory, and they were already set in there, driving on the left side of the roadways. This walk would be a lot shorter if we were on one of the other cruise ships that was here in St. Thomas. However, the Oasis is docked about two miles from town, instead of spitting distance from town. So it was, it was a little bit of a walk. We made it. Gonna be honest, the two mile walk, previously advertised as one and a half miles, was a little bit longer than we uh, kind of pictured. I do think that we will probably take a taxi back because I definitely developed one or more blisters on my poor little feet. Here we go. Found your section. <laughs> Do you have any sours? No. Uh, not right now. I have okay. one in the fermenter. In the and what? There's also uh, our newest beers are. It's a wine IPA it's called Dinky Days. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like a hybrid of a blue moon with a bunch of hops. Okay. Yeah. I want to try it a little bit. It's very um, citrusy, very nice. I think I'm gonna go with the saison actually. Yeah. The push life. And then do you have just one seltzer? Or different oh, yeah, flavors? Yeah, we'll Alright, I will well I will take that one. What flavor is it? Ginger lime. Ginger lime, that sounds good.
hibiscus sun Thanks. 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 Can I have an island life, please? You got it. At some level, you appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, I appreciate it. I didn't... It involved a dead dog. I couldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. It's pretty good. It's very good. I mean, everything I've had has been very good. We just left the Leatherback Brewing Company. We are heading to the Tap and Still Bar, which was recommended as a good place to find a taxi so that we can get back to our ship. We were also told that China King, which is right across the street from the Tap and Still, has um, excellent sushi. So we might grab some sushi, not sure. We're gonna check out the prices. And either way, then we're gonna head over to the Tap and Still grab a taxi, and then we will go back to our cruise ship home. That was the Leatherback Brewing Company. I liked both my hibiscus passion fruit cocktail and the ginger lime seltzer. Now, husband is the beer aficionado, so he is gonna tell you about the beers since it is a brewery. So first, what um, like what kind of what are your favorite beers domestic? I really like the Lagunitas um, Pilsner and IPA, which you could probably find in a lot of places. Okay, and then which was your favorite beer here? Um, I really liked their um, Hatchling series. So one of those are the ones that are made here um, in St. Thomas. Um, they had a VI Trails, Virgin Island Trails, which is their Pilsner, which was excellent. That was probably my favorite. All right, so if you are a fan of craft beers, we give this at least two to two to four thumbs up. Like at least three. These three because my other hand is holding the camera. Um, definitely recommend it if you're in St. Thomas and you don't feel like going to the beach or you don't have an excursion booked or you're here and you're not on a cruise, definitely come check it out. That's it for me here at the Leatherback Brewing Company in St. Thomas. Thank you. 